Hey, I'm Courtney Waterman, your tutor. Lover of anime, manga, and math. And you just tuned into another session of Tutor Me Senpai. Welcome back, everyone. Today we're jumping into a 12th grade topic, finding your explicit formula. If you're new to my channel, I have put time codes in for this video in the description box below. So use it to skip ahead to whatever part of the video you think is most interesting. As always, if you have any questions about what you see today or even your own homework, you can always put it in the comment box below or visit my Facebook page at Tutumi Senpai and tell me all about it there. At the end of this video, I'll be linking my 12th grade playlist in which I cover a lot more topics. So if you're interested in that, make sure you stay tuned. This video is only going to have two parts, so leave a like, smash subscribe, and let's get started! At this point in time, we've already talked about how to find both your explicit formula and your recursive formula when you are given an arithmetic sequence. And we've even covered how to find your terms when you have the explicit formula or the recursive formula. However, if you hadn't seen any of those two videos, you can find them both right up here. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to create your explicit formula. But this time, we're not going to be having the entire arithmetic sequence. We're going to have some key elements from it. Namely, we'll have an arbitrary term, an nth term, and we'll have the D, the distance or difference between your two terms. We want to take this little bit of information and find our explicit formula from it. So let's jump straight into our first example for today. Here we have A37, or our 37th term, equals 249. And we know that the D, the difference or distance between your two terms, is going to be 8. When you're trying to find your explicit formula and you're only given this little bit of information, the very first thing you want to do is write your general form of the explicit formula. And if you recall, that's going to be A sub N equals A sub 1 plus D times N minus one. This is your general form of your explicit formula. The very next thing you want to do is plug in what you know. Now, on top of this information here, we also know that our n is going to be 37. Our a sub n here was a sub 37. So our n has to be 37. So we're going to plug in everything that we know. So a sub n is going to be our 249. We don't know what a sub 1 is. We're going to add our d, which is Eight, and we know that n is 37, so n, well, we'll just do this, 37 minus 1. We're just plugging everything in. Of course, you can simplify this, so this is going to be 249 equals a sub 1 plus 8 times 36. And of course, for the simplification, we get 249 equals a sub 1 plus 8 times 36 is going to give us our 288. Now we see that we just have one unknown, and we can easily solve for this by getting this A1 by itself. So let's subtract both sides by this 288, which gives us an A sub 1 equaling negative 39. Now we have our initial term for our sequence. We know that A sub 1 is going to be negative 39. The next thing we want to do is plug in our a sub 1 back into our general formula and let's start creating our final form of our explicit formula when we do so. So we're going to bring down this a sub n. We're going to have our negative 39. Remember, we're trying to create the formula, so we're not plugging in an n now. We're not going to be plugging in this 249. We're trying to create a formula. So we have our negative 39. We know what the d is. It's going to be 8. And we have this n minus one. We're not going to be plugging in any ends now. This is our general form, but let's try to get our final form. Let's distribute this out. So we have a negative 39 plus 8n minus 8. And that's going to be a sub n. And of course, you can simplify this to be a sub n equals an 8n minus 47. This is going to be our final form of our explicit formula. Given only this little bit of information, we only knew an arbitrary term and the D, our difference or distance between any two terms within the sequence, or I should say any two consecutive terms within a sequence. So let's jump into one more example just to make sure we understood all the steps that we did here to get where we got. In our second example for today, we have A sub 30N equals a negative 53.2 
and our d, our distance or difference between any two consecutive terms within our arithmetic sequence, to be a negative 1.1. And we want to find our explicit formula given this little bit of information here. And of course, we also know by extension, our n is going to be a 38 for this question. So the first thing we want to do is write your general form of your explicit formula. It's going to be our a sub n equals a sub 1 plus d times n minus 1. And just like we did before, we're going to plug in everything that we know. We know our a sub n, n being 38, so our a sub n is going to be this negative 53.2. We don't know what a sub 1 is. Our d is going to be a negative 1.1, so let's get rid of that plus, and we're going to have minus 1.1 times our n minus one. Let's just plug that in and do our little subtraction here. So it's gonna give you a 37 here. Now we can multiply those two, which gives us a negative 53.2 equals an a sub one minus 40.7. Once again, we wanna solve for our a sub one. So we're going to add 40.7 to both sides. And when we do so, we're going to have a sub 1 is going to equal a negative 12.5. So we now know our initial term of our sequence is going to be a negative 12.5. But this is not it. We're not done when we find a sub 1. We want to be able to use our a sub 1 to find our explicit formula. So let's plug it in. We're going to bring this a sub n down. We're going to have a negative 12.5 here for our a sub 1. And we know that our d is going to be a negative 1.1. And we're going to once again have this n minus 1. You could technically stop here. But let's get our final form. So we're going to distribute out this negative 1.1. So let's rewrite this as negative 12.5 minus 1.1 n plus 1.1. And for our final step, let's combine our like terms to get the following. We're going to have an a sub n equals a negative 11.4 minus 1.1 n. And this is going to be our final form of our explicit formula. And just like before, we only had a little bit of information, but this is enough to be able to create our explicit formula with just that. So I hope you were able to follow along with today's video and I hope you now know how you can find your explicit formula when you're given just a little bit of information. However, if you have any questions about what we saw today or even your own homework, remember you can put it in the comment box below or visit my Facebook page at Timmy Senpai and tell me all about it there. If you hadn't done so already, remember to hit that like. It surely helps the channel by letting YouTube know that you found the video helpful. And if you found the video helpful, so can someone else. So leave a like, hit the notification bell, smash the subscribe button, and share the video with a friend. Well, that's all the time I have for today. I'm really hoping to help with your homework and looking forward to seeing you again next week. I'm Courtney, here's your playlist, and this has been another session of Tutor Me Simba.